What is happening gamers? This is Rattler here. Welcome back to another news roundup. So to kick us off that I just want to clarify that in my last news video I mentioned that Nintendo might be gearing up to release a brand spanking new Luigi themed Nintendo 2DS. Well, it's been confirmed that that was just fan made, so it's not going to be happening. But the box art mock up and 2DS was cleverly done, so kudos. But what is happening is a Skylander Swap Force Wii U bundle that Nintendo has officially announced for North America. So you'll be able to get your hands on this bad boy starting on November 15th, and of course it comes with the Skylander Swap Force game, a portal of power, three Skylanders figurines that include Ninja Stealth Elf, Blast Zone, and an exclusive color shift wash buckler. Plus there will be a collector's poster, trading cards, and sticker sheets, and it comes bundled with Nintendo. Nintendo Land. And sadly, it does come with a white Wii U basic system, so you do get less storage, but you will be able to pick up this bundle for $299.99, which isn't a bad deal. And in other news, that we got some new details about the mysterious Pikachu 3DS game that was teased not that long ago. And believe it or not, it's actually a detective game, which makes sense considering your character is holding a magnifying glass, and your partner in the game is going to be Pikachu. Now, your Pikachu partner isn't going to be the only Pikachu in the game, because there will also be a rare Pikachu who is said to be the enemy in the game for some reason. Maybe he a murder suspect or he stole something. I don't know. But he's apparently blue and he talks. I don't know if that talking means he's just going to be saying Pika Pika or if he's actually going to be speaking words in Japanese or English. Because if he does that, that would be kind of weird. And Pikachu is being controlled via motion capture and facial recognition which goes hand in hand with the video clip we've seen previously with Pikachu making weird facial expressions and the game is still a ways away. It's not expected to be releasing until 2015. But a Pikachu detective game isn't really something we've seen before so we'll just have to keep our eyes on it. And on the Mario side of things is that the uh, and on the Mario side of things is that there might be a secret fifth playable character in Super Mario 3D World and the stamp collection might hold the evidence. So previously the common observatory has been spotted in some artwork for the game hinting at the possibility of Rosalina making a return but some more evidence has popped up signifying that she might be having a bigger role than once expected. So in the stamp collection there seems to be silhouettes for the four playable character icons for Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad but there seems to be a fifth mysterious icon as well that looks relatively similar. And considering there are other stamps that seem to be related to Rosalina with one that even has like Lumas in it, and since the silhouette that looks like a playable character icon has a crown on it, it could mean that Rosalina will be a playable character. Now I don't know what her special move would be, maybe she would act similar to Peach and being able to float, but of course this is all just speculation so we'll just have to figure it out for ourselves on November 22nd. But that will bring us to the end of the news roundup. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for more news videos, video reviews, and that's Nintendo Crazy episodes. There will be a review for Pac-Man and the Ghostly Avengers and Sonic Lost World up in the future. But I will talk to you later in the next video guys. Bye! What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here. Welcome back to another news roundup. So to kick us off is that I just want to clarify that in my past news video, my last one, you know that one that was like, you know, some time ago where I did stuff, I was like, yo dudes, there's a Luigi 2DS coming out. Well, apparently that's not going to be happening anymore.